Okay, this here is our Flintstones pinball machine. And it's been a while since I played it, but last time it seemed like during multi-ball only, uh, one or both flippers would get weak. And then once the multi-ball ended, flippers went back to regular power. Um, I thought that was extremely odd. I didn't know really where to dig into it. Someone online said that they remedied this by, I believe, swapping out the flipper optos on both sides. So I'm gonna play a game off camera, verify that during multi-ball it goes weak, and if uh, it does go weak, I'll pull one or both of the optos and see uh, if maybe there's a crack out of joint, just dirty optos, or possibly uh, just swap it with another game of the same vintage and see if uh, that remedies it. So let me go see how this plays. Okay, so I just finished the game. I did get multi-ball uh, by spilling concrete. Um, it did seem like the flippers weren't reaching the, the deeper shots. Little, it was quite hard to actually even time the, um, the center one for the uh, jackpot. So I'm not sure if it's the right one. Definitely the left one, but probably the right one as well. So um, they had power to get the ball up there, but it just seemed like they were a little bit late on um, delivering the power. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip up the play field, remove both optos or, and uh, get them underneath the magnifying lamp and uh, take a look, see if they're dirty, see if they are um, at all damaged where the solder is. So let's take a peek. All right, so the play field's lifted up. Looking on the left-hand side, this is the uh, inside of the flipper button. As you strike it, you can see the interrupters that uh, break the beams and uh, open the beams up to Opto 1 and Opto 2. This is the board I'm gonna pull off. I've already uh, disconnected the wire here. It's just this connector. And then there's a quarter inch uh, uh, screw here and there, right there. So I'll pull it off. And it already looks kind of dusty, so who knows? Maybe I just have dirty Optos, let me see. Yeah, it's a little dusty. We'll take a look. Sitting down at the workbench with both uh, flipper Optos. And you can tell on the right hand side, it, this is the left flipper, right flipper. The right hand side is a little bit larger footprint. Also the interrupter is made of metal where this is plastic. Um, I'm led to believe this has been added later because uh, the screws that held it onto the game, that mounted to the cabinet, they were super long and I was actually surprised they didn't go all the way through the cabinet. Um, but I haven't yet separated them. Um, to separate the interrupter from the board itself is um, these two um, nuts here. Um, on this side, you just squeeze these and uh, they separate. And I looked and they have both been worked on before. So, um, let me see. That one looked too bad. The other one, much different story. This is the left side. And let me drop it there so I can hold the camera a little bit still. You see the work that's been done on it. So I'm gonna separate them, the two pieces, and then I'm gonna uh, clean them up, see if I need to do any reflowing or um, even making sure that the actual optos themselves are clean. Let's take them apart. So this here's through the magnifying uh, lamp here. These look dirtier as far as the optos go than the other ones. This is the left hand side. I'm going to take it, give it a bath, give it a good scrubbing, reflow all the um, solder. Let me pull in the right one. This is the right one. You can see they have a different actual even orientation of the way the optos are. They're just like 180 out, but do the same job. And these optos actually look new. Very clean, but I'll give them the same treatment too. Clean them, reflow them. All right, back on the bench. All bathed, reflowed. Same here. Um, use Simple Green and a toothbrush and scrubbed them, and then I uh, used compressed air, blown them out, and uh, let's test them. All right, so I scrounged this one from uh, right here on this uh, parts uh, flipper board. 
this one wasn't working. So I scrounged tastic for number seven on this junk board to LED number five, uh, which is ball number four. Will it work? We'll see. All right, repairs are done. Let's test it out. We should go right to the game. Just like that. That's great. All right. Well, what happened is I stirred up something after fixing the, um, the multi-ball flipper weakness issue. The ball trough would not see ball number one in the trough. It has um, jam one, two, three, four. And so um, I took the board off uh, on the trough, reflowed those, still had a problem. So I swapped um, ball number one with ball number four. This is the optos I'm talking about and the opto number four to ball number one, opto, and the issue moved to number four. So, and number one was fine at that point. So I needed an opto for number four. I went and found a scrounge board, an old parts board, snatched it off, and it works perfect.